Hey everyone, it's Lee here, the rental guy. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the week. Uh, for those of you who are new here, this is my party rental business. It started about five years ago from the garage in my house, and now it's this, what you see here. I do tell you about my day-to-day -day trials and tribulations, my numbers, all the juicy details behind the scenes of a rental company. So uh, let's get into the week. So what do we have going out this Friday? We've got some arcades going out, some yard games, uh, tents, some tables, some chairs, a few grand worth of stuff. Always cover your Shivari chairs. You can get these covers for like seven bucks a piece or my supplier carries them, uh, special event sales. You'll thank me later. And then through the weekend, I figured out this stuff that can go on to Global Trust and it shines uh, monograms onto walls. So I put that onto my website and I made a landing page for uh, monogram lighting in my city and all weekend. That's not entirely true. It didn't take all weekend. I did go to the shop two days during the weekend just to film some videos for explainers for my website. So I did also go to this place with my family. Yes, I do do things that are outside of work as well. Um, I barely. Hello, party rentals. So I did also go to this place with my family. Yes, I do do things that are outside of work as well. Um, I barely. Uh, I did go to this place called the Festival of Trees and uh, they have like all these nice Christmas trees. I actually used to do bartending events there. I used to sponsor it, but I got there and all I could see is, you know, the trusses and the TV stands and the pipe and drape and what companies were sponsoring what and doing what. It should shine on the tree. That Looks like Adam the Tank Guy. So much better. Oh, I've been massively inspired to copy these truss mounts and make kind of video walls attached to the truss mounts uh, with like TV boxes around them. So uh, this is what I've come up with so far. And I purchased a TV uh, stand, a swivel mount. These are the same ones that I use to mount all of uh, the tablets that are kind of everywhere in the shop here, like this guy here and I'm gonna actually mount them onto trusses so that I can do like a, a two-way or a four-way sort of um, advertising kiosk with global, with the, the trussing. Oh, I'm still waiting for a base plate here to fully do the upright, but I thought I'd experiment. I got a swivel mount, the same as from the computers uh, that I used, and then I attached these truss clips to it. So in theory, all that I would have to do is attach four of these guys on. There, now we can mount the TV onto here. So as soon as I get the base plate so that this thing stays sturdy, I'll uh, mount one TV on and then I'll do, well, I'll do four. And I'm gonna do a cube and I'm gonna get some uh, software that will sync all the TVs up or else I'll put my video wall thing in something along those lines to make it really, really cool, you know? Or I could do four gaming systems on here and call it a gaming cube, or I could do eight TVs and just have it a full uh, podium there. It's a great advertising uh, potential. So this is uh, the next stage for me. So um, very cool, it mounts nice. These truss clips basically hook to everything. So uh, yeah, I mean, this could be multi, right? It could be advertising and then you could put a gobo light on top. We'll get into gobos. I ordered one of those and uh, custom monogram lighting. And yeah, I mean, there's lots of potential for these things. You just have to give the people the ideas. Monday, 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 phone calls, people arriving late, polishing cutlery, blah, blah, blah. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's that time. Tell you how much money I made this week. Uh, granted, it's midweek and we charge our stuff on Friday. Uh, <clears throat> we've made $4,025 this week. 
So not bad. What's going out? Well, people are having Christmas parties. So it's all Christmas party stuff. There's the, the Nintendo Switch racing bundle with the uh, the racing wheels. Well, these guys right here, they're, they're sitting right there. Those guys are going out. Uh, photo booth is going out, two photo booths. Um, beer pong table, some TVs, bean bag toss, a bunch of dinner plates, some chairs, water goblets, wine glasses, dinner forks, dinner knives, um, base plates, uprights, crossbar supports, backdrops, um, round tables, rectangular tables. That's what's going on. Wait, there's a whole bunch more. Uh, marquee letters, a bunch of marquee letters. Uh, data projector, cotton candy machine, giant Jenga, big buck hunter, giant kerplunk game, giant connect four game, uh, dinner plates, coffee mugs, dessert plates, dinner forks, teaspoons, salad forks, dinner knives, you know. So, I mean, things are picking up a little bit, um, you know, the numbers are higher this week. However, it's still very dead here. I send my wife home halfway through the day. So it's a the best time to start working on these little processes that just definitely don't have the time for during the summer. So uh, the video wall here, I want to attach a QR code to it so that the customers know how to set up, set it up when they rent it, along with um, just putting markers on the pallets and, and you know, labeling little things inside the shop, just putting stuff away and making stuff organized that way if everything has a place, when someone takes it, they put it back and the place stays clean. I've got the package. So as you can see right here, I've made it reality so that, uh, you know, when things come down during the summer, we don't forget where they were sitting before. So everything has is labeled and well, everything will be labeled when I find a permanent home for something and I wanted to go back to that space. Well, I know that I want to put a 20 by 20 tent in here because it fits fine this way on the green rack with one 20 by 20. So I know that now up here, it's like, okay, the gray chairs fit great. Okay, so right there, uh, there's enough space to put in the round tables for in behind on top of those pallets. So it's visual references, you know, right here, the Shivari's work nice going up there. So I was just getting ready to leave and a phone call came in. Well, there's always a quote near the end of the day. So it's almost five o'clock. It's 4.30, it's almost clockwork that the phone rings. People mean to call and they don't get to it until they know you're about to close. And then that's when they're like, hey, I better you know, get on it and then phone call. So I always wait around a little bit longer to just nab those phone calls. Someone looked at the chairs on the website. Uh, they wanted a quote for about 19 more chairs than we own. So like I said, 6% uh, off this week. So basically I sent them a quote and I said, you know, you have, 30 days, if you book within the 30 days, then we'll give you 6% off. And so I just put a little line item there and uh, just to stimulate a booking, right? When bookings like this come in, I always like to send uh, a payment request with it so that it's just one last step for them so that they don't have to email and then you email back a payment link and then there's four emails, right? If you just send the payment request right away, then they can pay it and then they're booked in. The less steps, uh, the easier it is to get the booking because the less that they have to do. So think of that and send payment requests as much as you can with um, quote requests so that you can you know, get that booking locked in so they don't have time to change their mind or anything else. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It was great this week. It was super dead. I got to catch up on a lot of things, which was absolutely fantastic. Everything's starting to look cleaner. Processors are, processes are getting nailed out. Um, that's all I have for the vlog. So I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed it, I have plenty more vlogs. So just click here and check them out. And that's it. Make sure and click the videos and, uh, you know, press a like on this video if you like it. And uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. You stay classy.